the DCI Network Series amplifiers accept both analog and Blue Link digital audio sources. By default, the amps are configured to accept analog audio. This tutorial will cover how to change the input assignments to specific Blue Link channels. It is recommended that you first watch the DCI video titled Input Routing Part 1, Analog, to learn the basics of analog routing, as some of the concepts carry over to Blue Link routing. Blue Link digital audio can carry up to 256 separate channels on a single bus or ring. The DCI network series amplifiers can look at eight of these channels simultaneously by storing the Blue Link channels to eight internal slots. With the Blue Link channels mapped to the amplifier slots, individual amp channels can be assigned to specific Blue Link channels. Assigning Blue Link channels to DCI amplifier channels is a two-step process. First, Blue Link channels from the Blue Link bus need to be mapped to amplifier slots. Second, amplifier slots need to be assigned to amplifier channels. I will perform this configuration while online so the explanation will be easier to understand. Be careful when making changes online. The actions you choose on screen will immediately change the behavior of the amp. Open the default device panel by double clicking on the virtual representation of the amp. Next, open the input source routing window by double clicking on the icon next to channel 1. This source routing window is where you will select your channel assignments for each channel of the amplifier. I am currently using a 4 channel amplifier and you can see that any of the 4 analog inputs can be assigned to any of the 4 channels. Notice that even though this is a 4 channel amplifier, there are 8 blue link options to select. These 8 options are the 8 input slots mentioned before. All models of DCI network amps include 8 input slots, regardless of the channel count. As mentioned previously, the first step is to assign blue link channels from the blue link bus to amplifier slots. To assign these 8 slots to blue link channels, we will need to dig deeper into this menu. First, click on input configuration. The input configuration window will appear. Next, click on audio routing. The audio routing window will appear. There are two lists in this blue link input assignment window. The larger one on the left shows the 256 channels on the Blue Link audio bus, and the smaller one on the right shows the 8 Blue Link slots the amplifier can accept. I previously prepared a BSS Blue 160 to output left, center, right, and subwoofer outputs on Blue Link channels 1, 2, 3, and the sub on channel 16. To assign channels from the Blue Link audio bus to the amplifier input slots, click on the channel from the table on the left and drag it to the input slot you want it to be associated with on the right. For example, to assign Blue Link Channel 1, the left channel, to input slot 1, drag Blue Link Channel 1 from the left to input slot 1 on the right and release. I will repeat this step for the center and right channels, assigning them to input slots 2 and 3. You do not need to assign a channel from the Blue Link audio bus to the same input slot number. For example, the subwoofer audio is on Blue Link channel 16, but I can assign it to input slot 4 by dragging and dropping from left to right. I have now mapped Blue Link channels to the DCI input slots. The amplifier can also accept Blue Link channels from a source other than a Harman HiQ net device, such as a cinema processor. These channels may not show up in the Blue Link bus table, but they are still active channels that can be assigned to amplifier input slots. I have previously configured a non-Harman device to output audio on Blue Link channels 20 and 21 for back left and back right. These channels can be assigned to the amplifier input slots by dragging and dropping those channels from left to right exactly as performed earlier. I will now assign these channels to input slots 7 and 8. Notice that the blue link channels on the left have turned yellow as opposed to the previously assigned channels that are now blue. Blue indicates a valid connection, while yellow indicates there is a warning. This warning occurs when an amplifier slot is assigned to a blue link channel that is not recognized by the audio architect control software. If there is blue link audio on these channels, the amplifier will properly receive the signal. While it makes it easier if all devices are high net devices connected to Audio Architect, this does not prevent the DCI amplifier from receiving and using Blue Link channels from devices off of the Harman Control Network. Now that the channels from the Blue Link audio bus are mapped to the amplifier input slots, it is time for the second step. The amplifier channels need to be assigned to input slots. Click OK to accept changes and close the Blue Link channel assignment window. Close the previously opened input configuration window and navigate back to the source routing window. Under the Priority Input Routing section, use the drop-down box to select the Blue Link input slot you want assigned to the channel. For example, let's assign the left, center, right, sub Blue Link channels to channels 1, 2, 
3, and 4 of the amplifier. Since the left channel was assigned to input slot 1, channel 1 source routing should be configured to receive blue link input 1. Let's move on to channel 2 by either clicking on the colored tab at the top, or by double clicking on the input block for channel 2 on the main device panel. Change the input assignment from analog 2 to blue link input 2, which represents the center channel. Channel 3 will now be assigned to blue link input 3 on the right channel. And channel 4 will be assigned to blue link input 4, the subwoofer. Notice how the label under the drop down box changes when a blue link slot is assigned. For easy reference, the blue link bus channel is specified in the square brackets with the name of the outputting device and the object listed afterwards. This gives you a quick and easy way to determine which blue link channel is assigned to an amp channel and which device is transmitting that audio. In the case of the subwoofer, the label shows blue link channel 16 in the brackets transmitted from device CP1. Let's say, for example, we want amplifier channel 4 to be assigned to one of the blue link channels from a device off of the Harman control network. We simply select from the drop down list the slot that that channel is assigned to. Let's assign amplifier channel 4 to the back left channel assigned to input slot 7. The label will not have the device information since the transmitting device is not recognized by Audio Architect, but it will still show which blue link channel from the bus is assigned to that input slot, in this case channel 20. Similarly to analog input routing, the label can be changed to your personal preference, but it is recommended that you keep the blue link bus number in the label for easy reference. When the input channel assignments are complete, make any other planned changes to the amplifier and store the preset by selecting the now yellow store button on the top of the amplifier device panel. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the technical support department or email them at the options shown below.